I made a video three years ago about getting rid of ants in your lawn where I tested the effectiveness of three separate products. Now a lot of people in the comment section of that video recommended the all natural approach of dish soap and water. There were enough comments where I thought I have to try this method myself and see if it works. Now with pets and children in play, there are plenty of reasons why you would want to leave the chemicals on the shelf. Kids with ant dust all over their hands, licking their fingers, or dogs inhaling piles of granular ant poison. That's not anyone's idea of a good time. Now I didn't see any comments suggesting an exact ratio of soap to water, so I erred on the heavy side and mixed up a bucket of soapy water with about one full container of dish soap. I'm using Dawn dish soap in the video, but I'm sure you can use just about anything. I mixed my heavy concentrated formula in a five gallon bucket and headed out to the lawn. Now my first stop was my boulder wall by my fire pit. I poured plenty of solution onto the ant pile with enough to make sure that it ran down into the tunnels and soaked the entire area completely. Next, I went to the planter and poured a bunch of soapy water on that. Now for the three spots in the yard, I started by putting just soap by itself down on the ant piles first. And then I took my soapy mixture and poured that over the top of everything. I wanted to make sure I went plenty heavy on the soap to really test this all natural method. Now I waited over a week to give everything an actual chance of working. And then I went back out into the lawn to reinvestigate and look at the results. Now the boulder wall ant pile, the ants really didn't seem to be phased by the soapy water at all. They were still kind of crawling around and for the most part it looked like it was business as usual. So I would say it really didn't work on that pile. Onto the planter and those ants were really nowhere to be found. I kind of stirred the pile a little bit looking for them. I really didn't see too much activity there. Now they could have gone deeper or they could have gone to a different section of the planter, but in that one area I treated, uh, I didn't really see a whole lot of action. So that's at least a partial success. Now out in the yard at the separate lawn locations, it was kind of a mixed bag there too. For the most part, I found at least some amount of ant activity at each one of the spots. Now some of it was a little bit more, some of it was a little bit less, but there were still ants that were active on the piles that I had treated with the soapy water mixture. I was largely disappointed that this method really didn't work that great for me. Now to make sure I wasn't dealing with invincible super ants, I mixed up some tried and true towel star. Now I mixed that up in a pump sprayer and I mixed it one ounce of product to one gallon of water. Went back out in the lawn and I retreated all of those same areas. I checked back a week later and I didn't find any activity in any of those spots. I love finding natural home remedies and leaving the chemicals on the shelf, but they have to work. If they don't actually work, then I'm just some guy out in his yard giving his grass a bath. This method didn't work for me and my ants, but let me know in the comments if you've had success doing this yourself. Now I have a list of products that I have had great success controlling ants with, and that is linked in the video description. Also, if you're interested in my original ant control video, you can click into that right here. Here. Again, I test three industry leading ant control products and put them head to head and find out which one works the best. Well, see you later.